I show you why your Yorwood tech doesn't work and how to fix it. I'll start with an iron tech and go all the way up to rating. Number 8 will change your game. A huge mistake that I see iron players making is not flashing correctly. Look how easy it is to dodge whenever you're throwing up your world flash normally. Super easy to dodge and turn away from. Instead, what you should be doing is using walls or double boxes to hide the travel time of your flash as much as possible. Let's say I wanted to use this wall here. I would just throw it off the wall to my right and then swing with it and make it completely undodgeable. <laughs> GG, he says. A big mistake I see bronze players doing is not using their utility enough. Most bronze players do something like this. Right? Only using one flash. When instead, you can do something like this, which I call the triple flash. Clone, first flash, second flash, completely blinded by all three. Let's go! I'm right. You oh, know he was so blind. One enemy remaining. Oh, 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 oh. No. A big mistake I see silver players making is dying when trying to TP away like this. The proper tech is to turn away and look down. That way you're avoiding the crosshair placement on your head and you can TP away. You can also combine this with a jump. And that looks something like this. Look how much more easy it is to avoid death. Completely dodged his headshot. Uh, this guy. This guy's looking, uh, One enemy remaining. For this next tip, a student from my Yoru Masterclass will teach you. Alright guys, so as a gold player, I see a lot of people do this, where they just do a bad ult. And I see other Yorus that I'm playing against do it as well. And it's really easy to counter and dodge and kill. But so basically they just do this. They throw it down, and they just instantly die. Alright? That is not what you have to do. What you should be doing is, see here, it's right behind, there's a box behind him where if you bounce it, It'll go right in front of his face, and then you can kill him. This has honestly helped me a lot in my games, and I think it's one of the most useful tips for you. Sorry, I was in the room. I'm dining with. Who's next? Standing ahead. I know where you play. Hang on, first up there. You can see Oh, no. I need help. So if you want to master Yoru like Jumper Jim and use this tech against streamers like Grim, join the Yoru Masterclass. You'll learn everything about Yoru and be equipped to hit your dream rank. It's 50% off, but only until we hit 150 members and you get lifetime access right now. So don't miss out and click the link in the description to join. A big mistake Platinum players make is not Yoru updrafting correctly. A lot of you are still stuck on this one box high Yoru updraft, right? This is super basic. Everybody understands this. When instead, you should be doing the double Yoru updraft or the Flying Dutchman, whatever you want to call it. And that's by jumping and dropping a clone on top of a box at an angle towards the side you're going to be jumping from. Get in the corner here and then jump to the left once or the right if you're on the right side. Maybe a second time. Every box is kind of different. This will come with practice. But roughly about this yeah. range, maybe three meters or so. Activate your clone and then as it's falling on top of you, Back. jump and right click. And it'll set you up for much better off angles. For diamond players, you gotta stop only using your flash to get kills, right? People are used to this. A more advanced tech you could add to your toolkit is fake flashing. So instead of just pushing this right side, let's say it's a 1v1, and I know the guy's playing sight. Instead, what I could do is throw it left side, make him think I'm pushing lane, and instead, I'm right behind him. Night pulls up close. One enemy remaining. Oh, the fake out though. 
A big tech mistake I see in Ascendant is only using your teleport to entry with. You don't always have to do this. Instead, once you're on site for the post plant or at the beginning of the round, throw your TP towards the enemy's spawn and play off of it. They never see it coming, especially once the time gets really short. You can take it and get a really, really nice flank off. Time to jump. Spawn TP. Two cat, two cat. One sec, one sec, one sec. Two. Oh my god, he's so angry. I know he's angry. A tech mistake I see in Immortal is fake cloning incorrectly. A lot of players, when they go for fake clone, they do no conditioning. They just go for it on a whim, a Hail Mary, and they instantly die. Instead, you want to condition the enemy a little bit. So for a couple rounds, maybe you want to throw your clone out, right? Get them into the habit of you cloning this same spot every single time, whether it's for cypher trips or whatever it may be. And then from there, then you can start going for the fake clone because they're going to think it's your actual clone because you've done it so many times in a row. And then you can get a free kill. Like a blind fear. Here's a radiant level mistake that a lot of players are making. Just teeping onto site and slamming sites over and over again with little to no thought and just dying every single round. A big brain IQ tech that you could be doing instead is fake sight hitting. So basically, when the round starts, you want to throw a clone, you want to throw a flash, you want to do a spike drop. That way the enemy hears the spike being dropped and start to rotate to the opposite site. But really, when you TP to the opposite site, they're all rotated off already, and you get a free plant off. No, sir. I don't think you should be here. But Borkram is again. every single person on that paper. Bro, look at him. He's roster. stuck behind their entire team. He doesn't know. Potentially one up Yoro one diff, bro. That's embarrassing, step, man. The reaction there, That's embarrassing. I want to see the TP. How did he get there? As the spike has not gone down. Probably just TP from back. Have found Forsaken. And I, maybe potentially they've found or heard the sound spot. Oh my Wait god, he swung that with his with stun out. Getting the Wait, does he clutch this? Benkai, I thought that would have been enough information wait. or of a pull to get him a little wait, distracted. TP, wait, TP, wait. Get crashes in TP. He got, he got spike and leaves. Forsaken, he, he is always going oh. to be undeterred here. He gets a spike. Oh my god, yeah, crossed. he's on B now. Yo, they didn't even hear here. that. 30, second, incredible, 30 seconds, incredibly smart. That's right. Four Dude, I'm telling you, I think I genuinely three. think Forsaken is probably what the best, like, Yoru pro player. Oh boy. 4 ben, HP, bro. There's no way he cues, clutches ben, this. Audio cues, just no other AG clutch like this. Cluster of other utility. Oh my God, read. So <laughs> Yo, read that read is Persaken. crazy. No. HP, I mean, I guess he, he, he kind of beat him, but he like he can really fight against Bash here. Bash will have to tap this. Does he have no even time. a shock dart, a glimmer of something, the recon dart for a bit of that information? But he doesn't know. He doesn't nice, know that Elmo's gonna be there for oh Persaken for the fourth. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And if you want to master Yoru, join the masterclass. Link in the description.